तत्गछ भद्रम ते यमुनायास्तम शुचि पुण्यम मधुवन यम नृत्यधारे यौ मधुवन पुण्यम हरे चरण चर्चित मैलिस फुलगोर जिस सर ध्रुव जी महाराज बाई इंस्ट्रक्शन ऑफ देवर श्री नारद केम टू मथुरा City. Actually, those days Mathura was a big forest, and Yamuna was very clean, transparent, crystal clear water filled river. Yamuna perfuming Yamuna uh, with its forest and flowers. It resounded with bumblebees there. Dhruvji Maharaj meditated, meditated. In six months, six months, mm, his senses and mind and heart were merged in this dorsal plexus, and all world became suffocated for want of breath. This is a good method for all the jihadis, all the terrorists of the world. They want to destroy the world, and they need so much money. They need so many weapons to destroy. Here, you don't need any weapon. You don't need any money. You don't need too many people. All just alone, go to some forest and do meditation, do do tapasya, do penance. the way dhruvji maharaj did and look in 6 months the whole world became suffocated for want of breath earth leaned to his side due to heavy weight of a five year old kid celestial spread and bhagwan vishnu um, appeared and then what happened my dear friends मधोर्वन भृत्यदृक्षयागत प्रिंस ध्रुव पूर्ड ऑल हिज लव ऑल हिज बींग ही स्टैक हिज लाइफ इन लो मधोर्वन भृत्यदृक्षयागत द ऑल माइटी भगवान फ्लू राइडिंग गुरुड टू मधुमन विथ लॉन्गिंग टू सी हिज हिज his devotee he came and stood watching in trance the dhruva who was absorbed in enjoying his beautiful form in his dorsal plexus brilliant is flash of lightning shining in the lotus of his heart dorsal plexus suddenly belt vanished and dhruva opened his eyes stuck with wonder and ecstasy he saw the same bhagwan vishnu outside standing in front of him he prostrated and gazed at him as if he would drink him with his eyes kiss him with his lips and embrace him with his hands he stood with palms joined in reverence दृग्व्यापश्यन प्रभुन निवारक चुंबन निवास निवासन द लॉर्ड हेल्थ द चाइल्ड वॉन्ट्स टू से समथिंग बट वर्ड्स आर मिसिंग ही फर गॉट टू स्पीक समथिंग देन ही graciously touched his cheek with his conch of wisdom now spontaneous speech began to flow and then through his spoke wonderful wonderful thing he spoke yonta pravishya mama vaja vimam prasut prasuktam yonta pravishya mama vaja vimam prasuktam sanjeevayat kina shakti dara sadhamna अन्याचरण श्रवणत्गादी प्राणन्नमो भगवते पुरुषाय दुभ्यम ओ मई लॉड थैंक यू थैंक यू थैंक यू फॉर युअर स्वीट अराइवल 
you are awake to my speech and other dormant potentialities not only this you are the energy the electricity of consciousness for functioning of all souls and senses and their brains and events throughout the universe i i go down to you being one you appear as many like fuels and fire out of your causeless mercy you incarnate your birth your action are mystical joy of listening them is far greater than the joy of being one in your cosmic self where can that be available in heavens in where couldn't or anywhere else where ma the worlds of time uh, gods their planes are cut down in pieces and dropped i want birth after birth after birth but dear no ra for me fellowship with your divine intoxicated devotees bhaktyanurakto bhagavan pratinandye nama bravit then what fill with compassion bhagavan vishnu spoke dear prince i know what transpired you for meditation i offer you ever you full body you will live very happily 36000 years long life sovereign empire on the earth and then a poor billion year long lasting a full and planet never had been attained by others before all the planets will be rotating around your planet that is pole star the lord vishnu smiled again and took leave when princess stood gazing him in wonder as the eagle flew up and above with, with the lord and vanished ah to return but not it prito bhagat puram he was not very happy holy sire what happened attaining such an everlasting abode and so Mm, beautiful boon youthful life and sovereign empire why the prince is still not very pleased the rishi replied because there was there was meditation was neither the search for absolute truth oriented nor god intoxication oriented it was broken heart oriented he was hurt by arrow words of his state mother therefore he desired her worldly sovereignty and it is too inferior to enlightenment and divine love which he now realized oh i got to see and talk to that inaccessible lord almighty just in 6 months but like that faithless dying sick who got boon only for arrangement of medicine and not long life my stock of merit has been depleted that's why my stupid mind asked for un- unhusked grains of worldly imperial fortune and miss to the quest her privilege of searching him finding him finding out his love and his 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 devotees thus the prince repented as soon as the king heard him his arrival the sun is returning he was over overwhelmed with great joy He offered big gifts of pearl necklace to the messenger. He mounted a gold chariot adorned with garlands, surrounded by 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 many many rishis and his ministers and statesmen and citizens with conches blowing, drums resounding, Vedic mantras being chanted, flutes and clarinets being played, and proceeded to receive. his son prince dhruva as soon as 
giant family saw the prince coming, they jumped down of their vehicles. The king ran down, filled with affection, mm. heaving deep sigh, embraced his child, smelled his head, he bathed him with his tears of love and joy, drew a boot reverently to both of his mothers, gave warm embrace to his brother Uttam. He waved hands to all statesmen and citizens and great festival and feasting went on for many days, my dear friend. Mother Suniti was surrounded by compliments and praises. She sunk in joy holding her child with her heart. Milk flew uh, from her Mm, from her affection upon the demands of citizens, Prince set on procession riding a decorated elephant like a god in heaven, drew a lift in gems and jewels, studded palace of gold where emerald lights spread fortune. In the furniture of gold and crystal and soft ivory and costly seats. Look at the splendor and prosperity of India described in Srimad Bhagavatam, my dear friends, in, in ancient days. Therefore, the dharma, they followed those days, the ethics, the logic, the philosophy, they followed those days. If we follow even today, the world will become the same, all, all rich and prosperous and happy and pollution free. Please see the pleasure gardens, swimming pools were made of gyms and music echoed softly, Sundrava was coronated. His father, Kanpa, left for the woods to meditate. In time, Dhruva married with Brahmi and Ila, daughters of Sishumar and Vardev, the celestials and, and Kalpa and Vatsar and Utkal were his sons. In one of the hunting expeditions, brother Uttam died uh, battling with Yakshas. His mother also died lamenting for him. Uddha means Dhruva was enraged and attacked the city of Alkapuri, the center of Yaksha civilization. He blew his corn. Mm, mm, 130,000 Yakshas rushed and surrounded Dhruva. It is important that anger, lust, and greed should not take over those who are on the path of God because they suck up the essence of your meditation. So, they are distractions, but one who is God-realized and appears angry, one must not uh, look at him critically, my dear friend, because divine will is there at the source. An aphorism is in Brahma Sutra says, Tadadigame Uttara Purvardhayo Ashlesha Vinasha Uttavya Padeshat. When God realized person is, God realization is attained, all sins committed formerly are finished. And sins committed later, <clears throat> because body cannot exist without action, and action may be, <clears throat> may be anything, can be virtue or, or blunder. Mm. Even if you walk, there are many germs and ants, they may be crushed and they will be dead. So where the sin will go? So, mm. so therefore, the, the God realized person is the only state of consciousness. He lives only a person in that state of consciousness where no sin touches. Esha Nityo Mahima Brahmanasya Na Karmana Vardhate No Kaniyanum. That Buddha Dharan Nikhil Mishra says. 
no evolution nor devolution no rise or fall come to a knower of truth by his action this is his glory at time such sages mm, curse mm, sages curse but you will find great mercy when uh, at the at, uh, at the root of all these cursing business <laughs> fearful battle in shore punyajan and guhyak and rakshas began dying in thousand they also grabbed dhruva so heavily that 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 he was lost like a mm, uh, in the sea of their army then he shot narayana Dhruvaji shot Narayana's great destruction took place. Then his grandpa Manu came with sages and he spoke to him. Dear grandson, stop this bloodshed please. It is not becoming of your way, our race. For the fault of one, you are killing the innocent in thousands. It is not the way of the righteous. since you have realized god in your childhood you you ought to instruct others the way of integration how did you perpetuate this um, this reprehension reprehensible act it is not the yaksha my child but the very act of insulting devaluation of spiritual practice that um, that that she announced it inferior and to her um superior this sin has killed both mother and her son now you have committed an offense against kubera you must please him and seek his blessing in this lies the progress of your dynasty Dhruv honored his advice and bowed down to his grandpa, and he left. It is it is important that in such times, older and mature, a person of understanding must intervene when anyone ignorantly creating a havoc. It is duty of a sane, a progressive one to admire such counsels, my dear friend. Mm. Now Kubir appeared and announced on microphone I am highly pleased oh great prince that you have dropped the animosity upon the counsel of uh, your grandpa it is in fact not you but the time lord is responsible for the death of my people you may ask me for a boon you like most because you okay um because you are so great person i looked into your past and therefore please ask for a boon before you go home and who i did not say hey, i don't want your boon i have already realized god he did not say i am a, he did not say i am a great thing or uh, what boon you can give me no he did not think like that he humbly requested haro sabre jalitam smritim yaya tarakya yatne naduratyam tama his divinity i visited bhagavan in my teen age but i am still missing his his ceaseless love i wish you offer me moon so i never get angry again in my life kubir was very pleased he blessed him and with warm farewell